your patience. We've had a fun day, it's an exciting day at Spectrasonics. It's been a little quiet for a little while. Not quiet anymore. Talking about some very exciting new things. We're super excited to introduce Omnisphere 2 today. Yeah, and this is taking Omnisphere to a whole new level with literally thousands of new possibilities, new additions, new features, new sounds, new synthesis. It's time to make some noise. And this is an incredible upgrade, whether you are really into using, uh, to creating your own sounds, and you don't like using anybody else's sounds, you want to just create your own, it's awesome for that. It's also great if you just want to enjoy the sounds, the amazing library of sounds that it comes with. So it's really for, for any, any kind of user. And, uh, and, and if you're in the middle there, it's similar too. So the first thing we want to dive into is the synthesis features. And uh, so let me uh, fire this up here. And uh, let's take a look. Because there are tons of brand new synthesis features. And uh, what is one of the coolest things is the number one request you've always had, audio import for Omnisphere. So you can bring your own audio into Omnisphere and use it as a sound source. Really, really cool. So that lets you take any kind of track and turn it into something completely different. So let, let me give you an example of what you can do, because you can radically uh, transform the audio. It's really, it, by the way, it's really simple to put it in. Uh, you just go to the sound source browser, user audio, and right there you drag and drop your audio. That's it. That's the entire process. So super easy to use. So what I did is I, uh, I put in a couple of uh, uh, jazz mixes here. So I've got a, a, a little low on the octave. Nice jazz track there. So let's go up to the, uh, and what can we do with it in Omnisphere? That's the, that's the more important thing. There's lots of things where you can just play back the sample. But we have amazing granular synthesis in Omnisphere. So let's take that track, once again, right? And let's turn on the granular synthesis and we can turn it into this. A rhythmic, let's turn it into a rhythmic sound. Same, same sound. And what I can do is I can change the uh, position here of where it's playing in the track. Transformation, and let's try uh, let's try a different part of the song. So, uh, if I play the track here, get that going. If I get closer into the song, I've got a little kind of a horn thing. Okay, and then uh, let's hit reverse. So I'll turn that. Okay, that's kind of nice. And then we'll go up and turn the granular on. Now we've got, we can freeze any section of this and turn it into a texture. There's even, uh, you can even go as far as turning it into a synth. 
This is the same sound, and I've turned it into a full-blown synth set. Now let's take, we'll find that, uh, find the right spot on the waveform, and we'll move it along the track. Uh, not jazz anymore. No. Okay. So, and we even have a new uh, wild mode in Granular. And this is really cool. It just makes, basically makes everything completely freak out. Uh, it was actually a bug, and we decided to keep it. The sound is so cool. So here's what it, here's what it does. synthesis in Omnisphere. So, uh, yeah, the granular has been totally redone. It's a completely, completely uh, new algorithm. It's really, really powerful. And you can also, uh, it's also wonderful uh, with phrase uh, sounds, and of course vocals, and whatever audio you put in is going to have a different result. So that was just, I was just giving you an example, that was all just with one piece of audio. Uh, depending on what kind of audio you put in, it's going to sound a lot different. So let's take something like this. This is a phrase sound, and there's actually a whole new library of phrases that comes in Omnisphere 2. And so here's the original phrase. This is a Chinese violin. Okay, and then let's, let's turn on the granular and check out what it can do. Another one, let's take let's take this phrase. It's sort of a slide up and down. And let's turn the granular on and then we get this. Really cool effects. Really neat stuff. Uh, let's take another example here. This is a little uh Pocket Bell's cannon done with the Kalimba. granular on and turn it into this. So you have really, really neat stuff you could do with uh, the granular synthesis and audio audio importing. It's super easy to use, too. You just drag your audio in. You could even have a patch called up, like you have a patch that you like. And you're like, gee, I wonder what this would sound like with my with my uh, guitar track on this track I'm working on. Drag the guitar track in, and now you're hearing that guitar track through that patch, and it, it selects it automatically. It's really, really cool. All right, so let's take a look at... Uh,